Hello, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to organize my Olo markers the way one of you, my YouTube followers, told me I should, because it was such a genius idea. And I'm also going to color this little piece from the alcohol marker jumpstart class, a candy hexagon, brand new addition to the class, and it looks so tasty. I want to snack on one. In this video, I'm not going to tell you who the winners are from the contest that was held for the last couple of weeks on my blog and my Instagram, but winners' names will be posted over there, so you can go check it out and see if you won. Now, the advice that I got from, I believe it was Sherry, she said she got herself some refills, and the refills are little cartridges, and she put the refills on the backs of the colors they go with. And that made so flipping much sense. Instead of having a marker that has two colors in it, two ends to it, now I have full markers because I'm taking all these refills, plopping them on the backs of these markers. And I only got the refills from my set. If you want to know more about my set, I'll link to the video that tells you about my set in the doobly-doo down below. But the colors I'll be using are from that set. And here's what my markers look like now. They have that little weird thing on the back end. And that little thing on the back end is the re-inker that I can just plop on as soon as I run out of ink on the pen itself. Isn't that awesome? Thank you, Sherry, for sharing that advice with me. Now, I've talked recently about doing some upgrades to some of my older classes. I've been doing that for about a year, just little bits and pieces as I have some time to go through a class and see is all the HTML intact because sometimes things just fall apart. I don't know why. And checking that handouts are correct. Do some spell checking on some stuff because, yeah, I am imperfect. And in the alcohol marker jumpstart class, I was working on some things recently and tidying it up. I added some new printable images so that they're better than the ones that I had put in there in 2016, 2017 when I created the class. So there's new things in there. This one is going to be in there as a bonus lesson at the end. And the intent of it is to give you something you can practice all of your techniques at once. That's what I'm doing here. I'm using a full rainbow of colors and these are my set of Olo markers. And it's like a complete rainbowy type of set intended to do a lot of mixing. And I have two classes that use this set exclusively. I'll link those in the doobly-doo. So you can really learn about that kind of blending, but it's things that I've done with Copic markers for years too. Like here I'm using a red to create a shadow because I don't have a green that's dark enough. So I used some red, went over it with green and voila, a dark green color. And you can use a lot of complements to do that. In the bonus lesson, I'm gonna include in here, not a video, but a diagram of which colors I used where and if there were any trouble spots or difficulties that you might consider something else put that information in there. If you would like to color this candy hexagon and you're like, hey, I don't use markers. I want to color it in color pencils or I want to watercolor it or whatever. You can also purchase that separately. So it's in the printables section of the website. I will also link that in the doobly do. So if you want it just on its own, you can go get that. In the PDF that you'll get, there's going to be a, the, the one that I'm using has kind of a tinted line, not a solid heavy black line. There's also a heavy black line version. So here I'm using pinks with a violet to make my shadow color. So I love this set of rainbow colors. They're just so happy. Well, when you color on cardstock, if you know, if you're doing it right, you should get some bleed through. And that's what I've got here. And I'm going to cover that up by making it a double layer of cardstock. And I'm going to do it a different way than you might think. I'm going to take another piece of cardstock and score it as well. And I'm going to sandwich them together. But if you've tried this before, tried to make a double layer and just glued it while it was flat, you might have realized when you fold it, you're going to end up having a weird bubble in it. So what I did was glue the top part first, the top panel and then put some glue on the back side and then closed it and pressed it down at the same time. That way I'm gonna get a perfect flat card and no bubble in it. 
And then I just used an X-Acto knife to trim it out on the lines and can make a hexagon out of it. Now, in a previous video, which I'll link, I feel like I'm going to have a link fest down there. A previous video, I showed you how to make a hexagonal sketchbook. And in that video, that gave me the idea of making a hexagon card. So that's where I got to hear from. I decided I wanted to add a little bit of shadow to it. And I used my lightest blue violet color, but I wanted to neutralize it. So it felt more like a shadow. And I went over it with a pale yellow, again, using compliments which is something that I do a lot and you will learn a lot more about in Alcohol Marker Jumpstart. You can use any alcohol marker brand, whatever brand you want. And here I'm going to go over it a little bit more in the areas where it got too yellow and just do another light coat of that blue violet. And it feels kind of grayish, tannish kind of a color. So there is the finished trimmed out card. And the full sketchbook that I had mentioned is this one. It's an accordion sketchbook and it uses a similar kind of technique to what I did for this card, but it just makes a long sketchbook. You can make it as many panels as you want, but this one I made for the chroma coloring class, which again, will be in the doobly doo down below. And on Art Venture this month, I'm going to be working in alcohol markers a little bit more. Not going to be doing as much on YouTube, but over on Art Venture. Click on the link in the doobly-doo, join us for free. Now, I also have done some updating to something, which is something I'm calling snack courses. There are some classes that have been held at Art Venture that a lot of you don't know about because you haven't been there. And I have moved copies of them over to the big website. So there's some new ones, they're super cheap. And they're a little taste tester to see if you like my style of teaching and if you'd like to sign up for something else. So check out the Snack Courses page and everything else in the doobly-doo and my blog for the winners of the markers and the new courses. I will see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.